If you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoy the video. What's up everybody, this is DDS. And today I'm talking about my Logic workflow. I get a lot of questions about how am I using machine with Logic? I know I've done a video on it before, so I just decided to break it down a different way than what I did before. Before I went through and like routed machine to all the different channels inside of Logic, but now I found a way that I enjoy so much more just because it's how I work usually. So with this, I use complete control all the time to help me find my skills, not find my skills, but stay in scale and all that wonderful stuff when I'm using these instruments. But when it comes down to machine, as you see right here, I have a beat fully arranged. I just deleted the drums already. Like these are all the drums I usually already mix, how I want them, all of that stuff. But when I play it this way, you're just gonna hear the, um, how it sounds before I export everything to machine. So let me just play a preview. And hopefully you guys hear it. I can't hear it because I changed my sound settings so you guys can hear it. Actually, let me see real quick. Okay, there we go. I can hear it a little bit now. So pretty much what I have here is being that I work in machine a lot, I um already know how to arrange in machine. If you don't know how to arrange your beats in machine, I suggest you go watch my arrangement video, which is arranging beats in machine so i have all of the the track done already so let me just go ahead and play it like right now it's on this loop but if i take it off of that loop it should sync up with wherever i'm at on the beat but you can't change it down here so just make sure that you're doing it with logic so pretty much i arranged all of my beats at least the drum patterns i should say in ideas view and then I go ahead and append it. And if you don't know what that means, go ahead and check out that arrangement video again. And then that will also give you the idea of how to arrange. So this pretty much goes for everything. I just use it for my drums right now. And then once I get them arranged and appended and have the arrangement pretty much going how I want it to go with the beat, I just go right here, go to file, export, put the export location. And from there, I just go in and go to the location pull it up as you see I should have had drums only but I forgot the R and I never took the time to change it and then I don't know which beat this was or which day this was I'm trying to figure out if this match okay this looks like it matches everything that I had so this is probably the beat already so I'm just gonna take this drag it right here and then all my drums are already right here it's already ready to go I can mute this and it's gonna play and it's done So yeah, all the drums are already there. It's already set to go, arranged, all of that. This works better for me just because even when I would do things with it routed, like in machine, I might change the velocity of things hitting. To me, it still sounded like it was hitting at the fixed velocity or like it was all the way up to 127 when it, I might have wanted it to be at 80. I don't know why that was. Maybe I was doing something wrong, but that was why I just decided, let me just do the drums like I used to make beats inside the machine export it to logic now the reason why i'm using logic is because i found that it's not as uh cpu heavy as when i would run machine by itself so i'm still using machine i get people asking me did i leave machine am i done with machine am i just using logic like no i use machine every single time that i'm making beats inside of logic i cannot get with what is it called i think it's called ultra beat let me see if i can pull it up to give you the right thing the drum system that they have in here I just can't get with it. Yeah, Ultra Beat. I, I can't get with it. I tried and I just couldn't get with it. So I'm like, okay, let me just stick with machine. So it, it works out, works out great. Like I said, I use complete control for all my sounds. I'm going to do a separate video on that as well. And hopefully during this time, you guys stay safe. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you need help with anything, hit me up. 
I have my machine course available. You can check that out. Or if you want a one on one session, you can email me about that. We'll set that up. Or if you just have any general questions, I'll point you in the direction of a video of mine that may help you and things of that nature. So hopefully you all stay safe. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. This has been my machine workflow. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I should have said machine and logic workflow. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hopefully you all have a wonderful day. Take care.